today we are about to learn the indus river system so let's get started indus river originates from a glacier near bokhar chu it is very close to lake manas sarovar it arises at the height of 4164 meters in tibet it is called singi khamban or loyens mouth from there it enters into indian union territory of ladakh through demchok region the capital of ladakh le one of the driest places of india is situated at the banks of indus river after that it flows between ladakh and jaskar range and enters pakistan near chilas then this river flows through pakistan and reaches the arabian sea and forms its mouth at the southeast of karachi total length of this river is 3180 km from which 1114 km flows in india now let's talk about the various tributaries of indus river shyok river originates from rimo kangri 1 it flows south and then turns westwards and meets the indus river near skardu it flows between karakoram and ladakh range the total length of shyok river is 550 km before joining indus river now the main five tributaries of indus jhelum river in sanskrit it is called vitasta and in greek it is called hydaspes yes this is the river at which the great war of hydaspes was fought between alexander the great and indian king porus in 326 bce It originates at Verinag in Pir Panjal range in the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir and flows northwest. The summer capital of Jammu and Kashmir, Srinagar, is situated at the banks of Jhelum River. Ullad Lake, which is the largest freshwater lake in India, is situated here. After that, this river forms the boundary between India and Pakistan. of 170 km and at mangla it enters pakistan in pakistan it meets the chenab river at trimmu in punjab province the total length of jhelum river is 725 km now let's learn about chenab river in sanskrit it is called chandrabhaga there is a reason for that two small streams named chandra and bhaga originates near Badalachala mountain pass and meets at Tandi in the Lahul region of Himachal Pradesh and after the meeting it forms the Chenab river or Chandrabhaga it then flows through Jammu and Kashmir and enters Pakistan near Sialkot then it flows through Pakistan and meets in the river at Mithan Kot Jhelum Ravi and Satluj river also meets chenab river before its meeting point in indus the total length of chenab river is 974 km next is ravi river its sanskrit name is iravati it originates near rotang pass ranjit sagar dam is situated on ravi river it forms the boundary between jammu and kashmir and punjab and then it creates india pakistan international border and enters pakistan pakistan's famous city lahore is situated at the banks of this river it then meets the chenab river in rangpur the length of the ravi river is 720 km now bias river in sanskrit it is called vipasa it also originates near rotang pass The famous Kulu Valley is situated here. Next, it flows westward, and after entering Punjab at Hari K, it meets Satluj River. Pong Dam is situated on this river. Its total length is 470 km. So, from all the main tributaries of Indus, Bias is the smallest. 
Now, the main Lars River, Satluj, it originates approximately 80 km south of the origin of Indus River from Rakshastal Lake beside Mansarovar Lake. Here is an interesting fact. Lake Mansarovar is a freshwater lake, but beside it, Lake Rakshastal is a saltwater lake. After its origin, it enters into Himachal Pradesh through Shipkila mountain pass. Nathpa Jhakri Dam is situated on this river. Near Punjab, Himachal border, the famous Bhakra Dam is situated. This dam also creates the Govind Sagar Lake. Nangal Dam is also situated on this river. Punjab's famous city Ludhiana is situated at the bank of Satluj. Then at Harike, Bias meets Satluj. Here Harike Baraj is also made. Then Satluj River creates India-Pakistan border and enters Pakistan. After that it meets the Chenab River. So this is the whole Indus River system. If you like this video and learn something new from this, do hit that subscribe button and also comment down which topic you want to see next.